Hello, Insiders! This week we have a special sneak peek with a very special guest. Jenny, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You have been working on something that we've been talking about in the company for a little while now with great interest, but this is going to be the first time I think we've talked about what you're working on more openly, publicly. Yeah. And I think the audience is going to be curious to hear what you've been up to. Well, I'm excited to share yeah. because it's definitely been something that we've been hearing from creators mm -hmm. a lot and, you know, something that uh, we can see is hopefully, um, depending on how creators respond and react to it, an opportunity for us to, to do a better job and shed a little bit more insight into um, places where creators need help. What have you been up to? What is this, what is this project? What is this thing? So, <laughs> I've been working on a program called the Unlisted Video Review Program, UVR Very catchy for short. Yes. So catchy, yes. so catchy. Um, <laughs> it's a small pilot program uh -huh. um, where we're helping creators do, just as the title describes, get their unlisted videos reviewed. Now, interesting. So this, we, we currently tell creators to upload a video, put it as unlisted, see if the yellow icon comes on, if it does, then appeal. Yep. But what you're doing is, is a little more, a little different than that. It's ex it's kind of uh -huh. an addition to that. Okay. So what we realized was, you know, you have this kind of workflow of mm -hmm. uploading, being able to appeal, but you don't always get full diagnosis no. of your video for why you may run into a yellow icon. Yes. So what we're doing is similar to that workflow. Mm -hmm. We are looking at your video from a monetization perspective, as well as from a community guidelines perspective, making sure you're not gonna run into any age restrictions. We'll take a look Whoa. at your video and actually send it to human reviewers so they're able to take a look at that. Similar to what would happen if you appealed for your right. yellow icon. Wow, wow. Okay, so let me just make sure I understand this. Currently, the process is you upload it, you see if the yellow icon comes on, you appeal. What you're talking about is you upload it You'll get a review from a monetization point of view, whether the yellow icon will come or not. It sounds like mm -hmm. you might even get some more insight as to why. Yep. Then you're also going to give some uh, information around whether or not there's anything wrong from community guidelines. But what about copyright? You do copyright as well? We don't do copyright okay. right now. So, no copyright. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, like, have, have we been doing this or is this like an idea that we're just starting like what's where are we at this is an idea that we're just starting we've only mm -hmm. onboarded a few creators okay. um and we're still iterating on the process to mm -hmm. make sure that we're providing you know guidance service and seeing if this is something that the creators want um and that's actually helpful so how does it like what have they been telling you these handful that have been trying it out so the few that have been trying mm -hmm. it out have definitely been finding the insights helpful so not having to appeal mm -hmm. not having to go through that process mm -hmm. um, and also actually getting some guidance into right. what was the cause for yes. that yellow icon yes. I mean you might have some general idea or you've read mm -hmm. through the advertiser friendly guidelines and see oh my video does have profanity so mm -hmm. maybe that's what it was but actually being able to say okay you know your video has a bunch of profanity in it, here's where there's going to be mm -hmm, issues. Mm -hmm. um, that's what creators have found most helpful from the program so far. Wow. So then, yeah, so they basically, if they can understand what were the drivers of the issues, mm -hmm. not only does that help them, I guess, address it for the video that they were about to publish, but I guess it also makes them kind of more successful for subsequent videos because they can kind of calibrate to what we're, these guidelines really mean. Exactly, yeah. and after you kind of submitted a few videos to us, you've got a better sense of, mm -hmm. oh, where am I coming up against the line? Right. And what policies do I really need to kind of dive into and better understand so that, you know, I don't run into those issues in the future. Okay, so the first thing that comes to mind is like, wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah. The other thing that comes to mind is like, well, wait a minute, we have like 500 hours of video uploaded every minute. Yeah. How are we gonna have like you sit down with every creator. So that's why we're a small pilot <laughs> yeah, so yeah. far. And the other big thing about this too is we're trying to take learnings from this mm -hmm. and then make them even more scaled in what we what we find. So do we see, you know, a lot of creators are struggling with our profanity policies mm -hmm. and we need to be more clear or give better, you know, guidance to creators beforehand. Right. Um, and what, what from this are we learning about where creators are having the most problems? Ah, interesting. So not only is it good for these creators that are in the pilot, 
but then it helps us make better policies and maybe kind of enhance and optimize how we do things. Exactly. That then that benefits everybody. Right. So where are we with this project? Is this like, are you planning on broadening availability of it? And who gets, because I'm sure everybody watching this is going to be like, yes, please. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, we have some questions, you know, for mm -hmm. your viewers to, yeah. to kind of figure out, okay, is this something that you would potentially be interested in? Mm -hmm. um, and what of this sounds like a good fit for you. Um, the other element here is, you know, would this be something that you'd be interested in paying for? Because mm. um, right now it obviously takes a lot of human hours to make this thing work, yeah. um, which is, you know, a tough challenge for us to kind of deal with. So that's why we can't open up the floodgates for it mm -hmm. as of yet. Um, but we're hoping to get feedback as if this is something that creators would be interested in, in having. Okay, let me preempt the comments right yes. now. So someone's gonna say, <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to pay you to to tell me how to navigate this crazy <laughs> guidelines. Like, what the heck is that? Like, why are they trying to profit off of my suffering and confusion? That's fair. I mean, and I think that the, the answer to that is, you know, to your point, mm -hmm. 500 hours, we see so much video mm -hmm. content uploaded at all times. We can't necessarily get that in front of a human as fast mm -hmm. as we would like. Yeah. Um, and the extra step of providing that individual diagnosis, mm -hmm. it's it's an extra layer of support. Yeah. And so that's where kind of this premium service comes in. Um, that makes sense. I suppose yeah. in the long run, we will try to automate as much of this as we Absolutely. can. Absolutely. And that's the ultimate right. goal is that our systems yeah. hit it out of the park every time. Yeah. But we understand that right now, eh, there's some things that we still make mistakes on and we right. wanna make sure that we're learning from that with each of the channels that are in this program. And then I guess on top of that, like we are working on the new upload flow, like this pre-flight check yes. thing, right? It's not gonna be nearly as good as like a human personally looking your thing, but I think a lot of the insights that you guys have are, are, are finding their way into our de design of the pre-flight check kind of upload improvements that we have kind of coming uh, later this year. Exactly. So I guess maybe this program is not meant to be like, hey, this is the new way to upload at YouTube. Right. It's more like, this is like the, the, um, the tip of the spear yep. in terms of us kind of improving the systems. Exactly. We then make it more scalable and free for everybody yep. through technology. But if you want to participate, Right and it's worth it for you, right. then you can do that if you, that, that might be an option. Exactly. So what are you talking about? Is this like, how much, how much money? <laughs> how much does it cost well, to get, so, yeah. So, so we don't know yet. Uh -huh. um, this is kind of like, is this something that creators would want to pay for? Mm -hmm. I think that's more of the question that we're at right now mm -hmm. um, in figuring out, you know, if, if this is something that that creators would be willing to, to spend money on. But wow. we don't have an exact number yet. Interesting, yeah, my guess, and you know, folks out there, please leave in the comments what you think. My guess is if that someone's making a decent amount of money on YouTube, mm -hmm. that there's probably a number where this makes sense for them. Yep. Where it's like, you know what? Uh, just having more certainty and reducing the likelihood of being, of getting like, finding out about demonization too late. Because sometimes when you do the unlisted, catches it a lot of times, but right. some of it doesn't. I'm guessing you guys would maybe do more uh, diagnosis. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And making sure that, you know, we've come through and looked at it from all angles. Um, so that, you know, it would be pretty unlikely that you would see any change yeah. in that rating down the road. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, what other, do you have any other questions that you're curious about that you want to get the Insider Nation's feedback on? Yeah. I mean, I think the other question would be, you know, um, what types of creators that are out there are interested in this? We, we've talked a little bit about, you know, mm -hmm. yellow icon, but, um, we're also helping with, you know, age restrictions mm -hmm. and strikes. Um, and so in that respect, you know, we're checking and looking at your thumbnail to make sure that mm -hmm. it wouldn't run into any issues like that. So things like that, what other, what items, um, would you be interested in seeing in a program like this that takes a look at your unlisted videos? Uh, and any, any, you know, thoughts on that would be, would be super helpful. Awesome. Well, I think people will be really interested in giving feedback on this one. And so definitely leave them in the comments because you will read the comments for yes, this video. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, well, thank you, Jenny, for sharing. I think what you're doing is super 
exciting, and even for the creators that don't participate in this program, have no fear, because I know my team that's working on the new upload pre-flight check is working very closely with your team yeah. to try and automate as much of that as possible so yeah. that it can be broadly available. Absolutely. But uh, I know what you guys are doing is kind of at the, uh, the state of the art. So very excited to see uh, how that project evolves and grows and maybe we'll get you back on the show to, get, to give us an update uh, as yeah. time goes on. That'd be great. Cool. Awesome. Keep it real. Thanks everyone. Hello insiders, hope you found this discussion I had with Jenny interesting. Uh, I wanted to clarify some important criteria about the pilot. Uh, first is it takes human reviewers up to six hours during business hours to actually do the review. Second is that at the moment there's no weekend support. Third, the pilot is currently English only. And fourth, the creators chosen for the initial pilot were folks who frequently bump up against our policies and see yellow icons often. We're not expanding the program at this time, but we will circle back with the CI Nation as soon as we have more information to share. Keep it real.